Right. Oh, let me mute the TV. So, um, I've decided that I'm going to do a video blog um, on my recovery from um, a pretty bad knee injury that I got last Saturday. Uh, just to give you an overall summary of what happened, I dislocated my knee. Um, so my, my knee, if you've ever hyperextended your knee before where you've kind of put your foot down and your knee shot backwards, it, it's that, but uh, a more extreme case where my knee actually completely dislocated and uh, due to that I've torn multiple ligaments in, in, that, in my left knee, so um, I've basically been told uh, that oh, I'm going to be out for ages uh, three years until I can get back to sport six months until I'm going to be walking or starting to walk properly um, I've had the first of two operations um, I had that I had the first one on, on Monday to, to reattach one of my hamstrings um, and a bit of my calf as well um, and also uh, there was a worry about like nerve damage and how permanent that could be. Luckily, the nerve is in one piece, um, and it looks like it's just going to be bruised. Um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm doing this more more for myself than anything else. Uh, I, I feel like I need to keep some kind of sanity while I'm going to be not moving for however long. So. This is more to to try and uh, look at my progress and and have a positive outlook on on how far I've gone. So if I can document my progress and show how far I've come since since the start, this being my first day out of hospital, I feel like it's gonna keep my morale up a bit more and and keep that positive mental attitude um, that I'm gonna need to get through this. So. Um, please forgive me if you get bored. Don't blame me for not watching it. Um, it's a uh, it's a weird thing to to be doing. Uh, finding it kind of strange, but at the same time, I think it might help me. So um, it's something that I really want to um, have going, just to just to keep my mind working and you know, with everyone else, all my mates and stuff being being at work and, and at uni, it's it means the days are going to be pretty long with not much to do so this is this is going to fill some of that time um just uh if you can hear that noise in the background basically um that is a game ready ice machine and what that is doing is helping me ice my leg. Um, this one is a ball of fur. Um, decided to use my leg as a step this morning which was not fun. Lots of pain as you can imagine. Um, but yeah um, I'm already already starting the work to, to get recovered. That's the, that's the main thing I'm going to keep talking about and you'll hear me talk about probably most of the time in these vlogs is just it's work at the end of the day. Um, this is I've got to treat this like a full time job now. Um, I'm never going to play rugby again, and that's that sucks. But at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do about it, um, and I'm not going to mope around and and uh, and think about how bad my life is because I've still got a leg. I'll be able to use it, although I haven't got full function now. I will be able to use it, so things could be a hell of a lot worse. Um, I mean, it's a bad injury, but at the end of the day, it's, it is what I make it. And my choice is now to make it something that's gonna gonna make me stronger rather than than weaker. Um, I've been through a lot worse mentally than this, so um, my hope is that I'm I'm just gonna batter through it and and keep going. So 
Yeah, I'm gonna try and do this every day, just to document progress, and like I said, keep myself sane. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, like I said, a bit of a selfish thing, more for my own personal recovery than anything else. Um, but if it helps other people who are struggling with coming back from injury, then that's great. Um, I'm not claiming that it's going to, but you never know. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully I'll get back on this either today or tomorrow. Um, if I'm not back on later today, I'll definitely back on tomorrow. Um, but first full day out of hospital, post-op. Post post op number one, um, feeling pretty good. Uh, being able to move around a little bit more, um, uh, just getting my exercises done that I've been given. Not much, not many exercises, but still got to do them. So um, yeah, just pushing through all that and making sure I'm working. So fingers crossed, we'll make this recovery go a lot quicker. Um, but, yeah, it's a long old road, so wish me luck.